Hedar, what about you? <laughs> I see you. Oh yeah. Uh, so I spent about three and a half to four months in Uttarakhand, and uh, there oh, that's my a beautiful place. Yeah, Dehradun, Dehradun, to be specific. Yeah. Oh, love there, uh, the house that I lived in belonged to a Brahmin, a Brahmin family. So uh, it was Mr. B N Bhatt. That was his name. So they are Brahmins and Kashmiri Pandit. Uh, yeah, Kashmiri Pandits. So his his brother was a proper Pandit, practicing Pandit, and so my dad had. <laughs> and i'm you know a muslim a pure non vegetarian you can say not vegetarian also so and then these people on the other end they have you know they don't have even onions so they are pure vegetarians and all of that but then the man that i interacted with so that day i realized that you know there's all you know all this is a social construct there's nothing like you know it's it's so beautiful to just you know think like human beings so the person the owner of the house he was about 80 years old so he should come and you know check on us because we are from south india bangalore so if you the temperature doesn't go you know below 12 or 13 degrees maximum in winters there it was about 3 to 4 degrees so he used to come up to our room and he used to check on us and he used to be like uh, did you all guys you know have dinner and he used to also ask us if we you know want to have chicken or mutton or eggs and i'd be shocked like you all don't even cook onion so he you know tell us that you all are young you should build muscle you should eat you know so it 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 wasn't you know he was not thinking about his religion or his faith that you know uh, restricts them from having non veg he didn't impose that on us he was offering us to you know eat it or get it for us so that was something beautiful and also uh, there was a point where i was really sick i was down with the flu and then uh he walked up okay so our, we were living on the first floor so the man walked up to our room so he got his own medication <laughs> kit his own box and then he you know had a few uh, medicines different different medicines scattered so he got me a paracetamol he opened it he's like you have this you need something i'll get it for you so an 80 year old person a brahmin and then a muslim with a you know uh, with an arab origin living there different faiths like no way we would you know come to some you know common grounds in terms of religion but then in terms of humanity it was so beautiful i felt that you know the person was related to me like one of my granddads or like one of my uncles so that's that was a very beautiful experience so it changed my entire mindset about all of this that we hear on you know the news or media yeah, and the media. that the politicians bring about in our society there's nothing of this sort people are just beautiful beings <clears throat>